Now let's look at how these numbers are written in the second form, which is the exponential form. Now, for example, the exponential form is the form that we have here in red, where we have a common base 10, for example, in this, in the 1, 2, 3, in the third row, written in red, we have a 10 to the 0 in our units column, we have a 10 to the 1. In our tens column, we have a 10 to the 2 in our hundreds column, and so on. Now, this is this form is called the exponential form. That's the form we are going to be writing the these same numbers in. Again, take part A. Let me just pull this down quickly a bit so that we can have some space down here. Yes, let's let's just stop there. Okay. Now if you notice in part A, alright, let me change this quickly. In part A, the number is 762.54. And now we're going to write that number in exponential form. Now, if you notice this, and let me show you a quick thing. If you notice in exponential form, here I have a, for example, I have a 10 to the 1. And if you look below the 10 to the 1 in that column, same column, you would have 10. So 10 to the 1 is the same as 10. Now, if you notice, we would have 10 to the 2. 10 to the 2 in the hundreds column. 10 to the 2 is the same as 100. If you notice, it's raised to the power of 2. And if you notice here, I have a 1 and two zeros beside it. If you move over to the thousand column, you notice I would have a 10 to the 3. And if you look below it, you would see me have a 1 and three zeros beside the 1, which means a thousand. And if you move over to the 10,000 column, we would have 10 to the 4. And if you look below that, I would have a 1 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Okay, so again, just want to reemphasize that it doesn't matter which one of these forms the number is written in, it would have the same value. Okay, now let's quickly move on. Um, in exponential form now, I, the 7 is in the hundreds column. And in exponential form, 100 is the same as 10 to the Two. So here I would have a 7, right? I would have my 7, so open bracket, and I would have a 7 times 10 to the 2, okay? Close bracket. So that is the same as 7 times 100, which is 700. And here now I would have plus open bracket, and my 6 in part A, the second digit 6 is in the tens column, so I would have 6 times 10, because that's a 10 column, but that is 10 to the 1 in exponential form. And I'm going to close my bracket, then I would have a plus, and I have a 2 in the 1's column. So that would be open bracket 2 times 10 to the 0. And I'm closing that. And you note now carefully, as I move across my decimal point, I would have a 5. So if you look carefully in exponential form, in the 10th column, which the 5 is located, you would have a 10 to the negative 1. So I would have plus open bracket, and I'm going across my decimal point, and that is 5 times 10 to the negative 1. Okay, and then I would have a plus open bracket, and I would now have a 4 times 10 to the negative 2, because the 4 would be in the 100th column, which is the second decimal place. All right. Now, quickly for part B, let's look at that quickly. For part B, and let me just change my color. Let me use, let me use a yellow. All right. Now, for part B, we would have, for example, for part B, we have 53,902.7 and here the 5 when we as we have written it in our place value chart the 5 would be located in the 10,000 column and 10,000 is the same as 10 to the fourth power so we would have a open bracket and we would have a sorry let me just get rid of that we would have a 5 times 5 times 10 to the fourth power Okay, and let's close our bracket. Then we would have plus, and the next digit that we have is a three, so we would have three times, and the three is in the thousand column, so we would have three times ten to the third power, and then that's been added to the nine, which is in the hundreds column, so I would have a nine times 
10 to the second power and that's being added to I would have a 0 in my tens column so I can just put that as a placeholder 0 times 10 to the first power okay we know that anything times 0 is 0 so that would still work out and we have a plus open bracket and after 0 we have a 2 in the units column and that is 2 times 10 to the 0 power and again just for emphasis remember any digit raised to the power or any number raised to yeah any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so this is the same as 1 as you would have it below the 10 to the 0 here okay so that would be work out, that would work out to 2 times 1 which is the same as 2 and as I move across my decimal point now I would have a plus plus open bracket 7 is in my 10th column so I would have 7 times 10 to the negative 1 power okay and it's it's that cool so let me just pull this up a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work the other one all right so again here um, I'm focusing now on the third number or that number in part C which is four four thousand one hundred and fifty point eight three six and in and for part C our final uh, number in exponential form uh, if you notice the four here is in the thousand column so again we would have a four times a thousand is ten to the third power so we would have four times ten to the three and that's being added to the one times ten to the two that's one times ten to the two and that is also being added to I have a 5 in the tens column so that's really 5 times 10 to the 1 so that's a 5 times 10 to the 1 power and that's being added to a 0 is in the units column again so I have a 0 times 10 to the 0 power okay so again as, as I move across my decimal point in my tenth column in my tenth column I would have a 8 here so this would be 8 times 10 to the negative 1 and then in my hundredth column which is the second column moving to the right of my decimal point I would have a 3 times 10 to the negative 2 and then in my third column I would have a 6 times 10 to the negative 3 yes and it's that easy that's how we write a number in three different forms so as you see the number as you have seen the number 762.54 could be written in any three ways and all of these form all of it can be written in three different ways rather it can be written in the as we have done before we wrote it in the expanded form now we have written it in the ex exponential form and in the expanded form the numbers would have the same value okay it's that so in the next video we're going to be looking at how we write these same three numbers in the decimal form okay stay tuned bye bye